Today we're going to have a pretty quick and different video. I'm going to crack open a slab in order to get this you know, flawless soccer card out so I can send it off to CGC with the rest of my cards. If you were to see my recent mail day video, you would have seen that I picked this card up and you know, like I said, I want to crack it out. So I've basically already started the process, but this is the card in question, the flawless soccer top of the class, Diego Costa out of 10, it's four of 10. It's in some crappy you know, company I've never heard of before. I think it's you know, a Chinese based grader, very similar slabs to what we see with CGC, but you know, I want to get this into a legitimate top four, top four company. Um, one of the cool things about this card in particular is that it has a piece of the Premier League logo. It's pretty unique for flawless soccer cards. These things don't shop too often. So um, I had to get it when I saw it because I think it fits the card pretty well and it's pretty damn unique. Now I already cracked um, the first part off using these um, pliers, these snips over here, um, just to give me an opportunity to get um, the flathead screwdriver in. And um, off camera, it looked like I could do that. So essentially what I'm going to do is the same sort of stuff that you see everybody doing now when it comes to cracking slabs is just get it in there. I'm going to lift across this way and hopefully I pray for the best. The reason why I did this off camera is because when I've seen people do it in the past, basically stuff goes everywhere. So I'm going to do my best and hopefully I don't damage the card. If I do anything stupid along the lines, let me know. But this feels pretty easy already because um, I'm barely even putting any pressure on there and the slab is going off, which is always what you want to be seeing when you come into these kinds of things because so often you see people do this sort of stuff and stuff does not go to plan. Let's get that label out of there. It's not damaging the card. Um, but that was actually significantly easier than what I thought. Um, the slab actually wasn't that difficult to crack with the snips either, with the pliers. Oops, didn't see that in there. It looks like there's an insert in there to stop the card from moving, which is pretty cool, but the card is free. Um, apologies for my, my down camera. I use my iPhone. It's not that good. I don't have my, my good camera set up, and you would have seen in my, my graded card return, you would have seen the camera I was using was actually quite good. It's something that I use to record the card show vlog out in Hong Kong. The part of the reason why I didn't set it up for this is because I was scared if the plastic came off and damaged the lens, um, I'd be pretty concerned. But I'm um, pretty happy with this, very comfortable that the card is genuine. Obviously, when you see it in those kinds of slabs, it's always hard to tell, but it doesn't look like the card has that much damage either. Um, so it should grade pretty well with CGC. I can't see anything that would uh, concern me. I'm not sure if you guys can pick it up on camera but a very nice looking card. That logo is freaking awesome. So yeah, just a quick one today. Let me know if you guys have cracked um, one of these slabs before and just to quickly have a look again, this is the label. Um, so you can sort of see here, I'll keep it so you can compare back once the card comes back from CZC, but um, 2015 Panini Flawless, it's got a mint nine grade with a 10 auto, basically centering of 9.5, edges nine, corners nine, surface nine. Given the way that CGC graded all my other cards, I would not be shocked if this comes back a 9.5 because it looks pretty damn good. I can't see anything with the surface or with the edges. Centering looks pretty spot on too. Um, so let's sort of see what happens. Uh, now, like I said, if you've cracked one of these slabs before, let me know, but that came off really easy. I've got... Um, some CGC slabs here that they gave me out in Hong Kong. So basically when I did my submission, you would have seen me, I recorded some of it. They had some goodie bags. They had like t-shirts and hats and all that sort of stuff. Um, in each of the bags was, you know, a CGC pristine 10. These are just some like random cards from Magic the Gathering from, you know, the Japanese releases and all that sort of stuff. So they're not worth a whole lot. So I was thinking these might be a good, you know, opportunity to try and crack a new CGC slab. Because like I said, the slab I just cracked is very similar to those. Um, and then I've also got over here the older CGC slabs, the thicker slabs when they were still called CSG. I'm not sure if you can hear it on camera, but the cards move around a lot within the slab. Um, it's not something that happens with the new slabs from what I can tell. So I thought maybe it might be a good idea to crack this or try this as well. It's very similar to slabs. I'm sure the slab I just cracked is basically a Chinese super clone of what CGC actually get manufactured for themselves. So. It is what it is. I'm rambling now. I hope you guys liked it. Hopefully I did well. That was actually significantly easier than what I thought. Like I said a few times now, these snips cracked through it pretty easily. I had two screwdrivers ready to go, but that popped off um, incredibly easy. 
It doesn't look like there was any glue there or anything, so I don't know. Don't buy those slabs because that was really easy to crack, and I'm sure there's probably ways to crack it open without without actually damaging the card and being able to reseal it, but it is what it is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.